Sound in the suit. I got sign in the street box. I can with my mood. I'm the sign that I'm moving. Wake up, wake up, wake up. 7A Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den basketball community in this case. All right, just a quick response video to my brother Say Less, who asked a question to uh, the brothers of the LDBC. And he says, what are the expectations for the Los Angeles Lakers this year and the Houston Rockets and the Milwaukee Bucks and Giannis? Well, as far as the Lakers go, ESPN, Fox, everybody wants the Lakers to be uh, this championship team. They want LeBron to win another ring. They want it to, to be like a, a storybook fairy tale. I don't see it that way. I think LeBron James' uh, championship, uh, championship winning days are over. I think that he has been a tremendous player for the, for, uh, the NBA. I think he's done all he can do, okay? And I think he's he's going to go down as one of the greatest of all time, top five. You know what I'm saying? You know? That's what I think. However, the media is not willing, ready to let it go. They're, they're, the expectations, just like they did last year, LeBron first year with the Lakers, Lakers was a scrub-ass team. LeBron go there, and they like, oh, Stephen A. Smith, oh, they going to the finals. Oh, they winning the championship. I got the Lakers. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you, based off of what, bro? Then they rig the shit up. They rig the system to where Anthony Davis go there, okay? I don't trust, first of all, listen, LeBron is in his 17th NBA season, 17th, okay? He's going to tire out second half of the season. Unless they can get some great uh, low management like they did Kawhi last year in, Tor in, in Toronto. Unless LeBron is able to sit down and rest. You know, maybe pay like 30 minutes a game or some shit. Unless that happens, this dude going to tire out, okay? And Anthony Davis, he ain't reliable to me. I think Anthony Davis is going to end up getting injured. No hate at all. I know people, oh, you hating. You hating. No, I'm not. Anthony Davis stay hurt, man. He a big goofy ass nigga who stay hurt. Like Joel Embiid, okay? Yes, he's very talented. He a monster of a player. If he was healthy, he, he'd be pretty much unstoppable, right? But his body is going to stop him. That's what I see. I think the Lakers are going to... My expectations for the Lakers is for them to make the playoffs um, and uh, probably exit in the second round. Somewhere up in there. That's my expectations. If they do better than that, great. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't, I don't give a shit. But... Um, I don't think that they're going to be uh, as good as people are, are hoping and praying for them to be. I think that give it a couple of months before the media and the fans start creating a narrative saying that Anthony Davis needs to do more. Or it's going to be some excuse. It's going to be some crazy shit like, oh, uh, did the Lakers make a mistake in giving up everything for Anthony Davis? and. They're going to find somebody to blame the shit on. Come on, man. This ain't our first time around the block. We know how this works. You know, there's going to be some crazy shit going on, you know what I mean, with the Lakers. You know what I mean? So that's how I see it. In a couple months, they'll have some excuse going on. But we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. As for the Houston Rockets, okay, um, I'm a Westbrook fan. Um, OKC was, was my favorite team out west. You know what I mean? Uh, I love Russell Westbrook and what he stands for, what he, how he played. I love his style of play. Okay, so now he's with the Houston Rockets. Okay, a lot of people think that this is not going to work. Uh, two ball dominant point guards, him and uh, Harden. How is this going to work? I just want to make something clear. Okay, Harden has never won anything. All right, he's never won an NBA title. Let's just make that clear. All right, Westbrook has never won an NBA title. Both of these guys have won MVPs, but they haven't been able to take their teams to championships. Okay, right? So they're even. What I want to say is, I don't want people to be blaming West, uh, Russell Westbrook if this shit goes bad, okay? If the shit goes bad, it's just because they got fucking bad luck, bro. It's just not that good, man. It's just, it is what it is. You know what I mean? But I, I expect the Rockets to be good. I expect the Rockets to go to the Western Conference Finals this year. Western Conference Finals. That's what I expect. Don't know if they'll win it, but I expect them to be playing the Clippers. 
I think the Clippers should be held to the standard of the best team in the West because that's what the media has put on them. So I want them to have that pressure. You know what I'm saying? They should have the pressure of the, being the best team in the West, the Clippers. Kawhi, you know, he's so unstoppable, you know, load management, all that kind of shit, you know. Uh, uh, motherfucking Paul George, uh, Mr. Sidekick, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, my nuts ain't big enough to stand them on. Always got riding under somebody else's nutsack. Cool. Let Paul George and, and motherfucking uh, uh, Kawhi Leonard do their goddamn thing and go to the motherfucking finals. Right? That's why I expect to come out the West is the Clippers. All right? They the ones who got the best defense, you know, on paper. Right? Two-way players, all that shit. On paper, they, the Clippers are supposed to be unstoppable. I think it's supposed to be Houston and the Clippers in the, in the Western Conference Finals. That's what I think, man. So, my expectations for Houston is for them to figure it out between Russ and Harden. They're going to have the hiccups. I think the first time they have a like two, they lose two games in a row. Everybody gonna lose their shit and start. Oh, see, I told you they ain't gonna be able to do it. Nope, Russ ain't shit. You know, whatever. That's what they are gonna do. I'm already expecting it. But um, I think Houston and the Clippers should be in the Western Conference Finals. That's what I expect. Now, as for the question about uh, Giannis and the Milwaukee Bucks, he said, "Is this time for us to start?" You know, criticizing Giannis if Giannis doesn't, you know, get the Bucks over the hump and all that kind of stuff. Well, listen, I knew the Giannis hate was coming. Okay, I knew the expectations and the hate for Giannis was coming. Eventually, Max Kellerman uh, and other guys were leading the charge for it. You know, uh, they ha had the same question. You know, uh, that's why they already told Giannis in, in 2021 he's gonna leave Milwaukee and go to Golden State. Golden State has a great chance to get Giannis because the media creates these narratives. The media, Giannis ain't said shit about leaving Milwaukee, but the media got everybody buzzing about the fucking Warriors possibly getting Giannis, trying to put the shit in Giannis' head, just like they did Anthony Davis, okay? The media is creating super teams. It's not the players, right? That's an illusion. It's really the media that's creating these super teams. But anyway, my expectations as a Milwaukee Bucks fan, my expectations is for the Milwaukee Bucks to go to the NBA Finals. Nothing less. That's that's my expectations for my squad. We're going to the NBA Finals, okay? Last year we were supposed to, you know what I mean? But we had some hiccups, you know what I'm saying? We had motherfucking, a lot of shit that wasn't going right for us, you know what I'm saying? You know, the team, for whatever reason, decided to stop shooting their three-pointers with confidence. Started, uh, you know, panicking and shit. That's just come from experience. Chris Milton sucked ass in the playoffs. Dribbling like he Allen Iverson. He got no handles. It just didn't make no fucking sense. Then they turn around and get a nigga $30-something million a year. Man, I slapped shit out of Chris Milton. It's just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? We lost Malcolm Brogdon, all right? A fucking, the second best player on our team after Giannis is Malcolm Brogdon. We lose him, all right? Because Chris Milton want to be fucking greedy. Chris Milton shouldn't be making no more than $20 million a year. That's a lot of fucking money. $20 million a year for Chris Milton, a sidekick. This motherfucker won $34 million a year. We giving this dude. We didn't have enough to pay Malcolm Brogdon. So Brogdon now is in fucking Indiana, right? He going to be a fucking problem. Indiana going to be a force to be reckoned with this year. You know what I'm saying? So I think we won 60, what, 60 games last year, which I predicted we would. This year, uh, we probably lose some, some, some games. We're probably going to... Malcolm Brogdon worth at least 10 games, bro. So I'm giving us about 50, 50 and some change. We're going to win 50 some games, okay? I don't know if we're going to be the best, have the best record in the league or any of that shit. However, I, I do believe the Malcolm Brogdon uh, loss is going to hurt us drastically. You know what I'm saying? I think it's going to hurt us a little bit. But I think, um, who else? Um, Eric Blesso got to step his game up, okay? He got to play big boy. Uh, basketball, he, he's too streaky. You know what I mean? Giannis has been working and developing his shot on the outside. He definitely gonna need to bring that. Uh, he don't have to be an excellent outside shooter, but he's definitely gonna have to be able to hit that. Um, as teams start doubling and tripling him, okay. And the guys on the outside have to be able to hit the fucking open shots. Stop, stop pump faking. Shoot the motherfucking open shot. You know what I'm saying? You get the ball, shoot that motherfucker. You know what I mean? So that anyway, bro. I I, I got the, the the Bucks going to the NBA Finals. Uh, I don't see nobody in the East stopping us. Um, the Nets, they garbage. You know what I'm saying? What? Uh, 
Kyrie Irving, you know what I'm saying? No KD. And KD soft anyway. I mean, we shit all over him anyway. He big soft ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? We shit on him. Uh, Philly. Philly hype, the hype job, you know. Hey, oh, Philly, man. Philly, you know, he. Um, they got uh, Joel Embiid. And ben. Listen, man. Joel Embiid is a good player, but he he another soft ass dude who always hurt. Always hurt. He be crying and shit. You know what I'm saying? We, Giannis, Giannis owns Joel Embiid. I ain't worried about them. You know what I'm saying? But Philly gonna be good. But they ain't gonna be able to beat us. Not in no seven game series. Philly Philly probably be the biggest threat to us. Uh, Boston. Nah, the Boston ass. Um, they best shot was, you know, uh, that year that, uh, they, that Kyrie was hurt. You know, that's when they was actually playing good basketball. The next year, they had a bunch of excuses with Ky uh, Ky Kyrie, and um, now they got what's the boy name? Um, what's the dude name? Um, whatever you know, nigga, Michael Jordan little nigga. They got this dude. He come up here from Charlotte, okay? You know, to Boston. You know, he he finna suck. Boston ain't finna do shit, bro. I mean, the East is wide open. If the Bucks can't win it this year, it's just all bad for the Bucks, bro. You know what I mean? If we can't if we can't come out the East in this East. It's all bad. You know what I'm saying we have to come out the east. We have to. That's my expectations for the Bucks, bro. No if fans bust about it. No, get just get into the Eastern Conference Finals. Fuck that. We gotta come out of the East. We gotta go to the fucking NBA Finals. That's my expectations for the Milwaukee Bucks. You know what I'm saying whoever we face, we destroying them. We we smashing the shit out of whoever. I don't give a fuck. I really want it to be the Clippers, cause I want I want revenge on uh, Kawhi. You know what I'm saying I want revenge on Kawhi. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna beat this motherfucker in, in the fucking playoffs. You know what I'm saying? But you know, if it's if it's uh the Lakers, cool. If it's fucking um Houston, cool, whatever. All I know is the Milwaukee Bucks is gonna win the NBA championship next year. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna say that every year until we win the motherfucker. Y'all can kiss my ass. You know, half of you motherfuckers is, is rooting for teams that ain't even, ain't even, uh, you know, ain't even your squad and shit. Y'all riding off other niggas' dicks and shit. Nigga, I'm riding with the Milwaukee Bucks. End of story. So anyway, that's my opinion. Salute to my brother. Say less. I'm up out of here. Deuces.